Turning to some breaking news, we have just learned that a formal lab has confirmed the suspicion that that white powdery substance found in the West Wing on Sunday was in fact positive for cocaine. Per the entry, go to the holiday. Can you give any more details on where the Secret Service found cocaine in the West Wing and how it got there? So, as you know, this is under the preview of the Secret Service. Uh, they are currently investigating uh, what happened over the weekend, so I would have to refer you uh, to the Secret Service, to the Secret Service, to the Secret Service, to the Secret Service on all of this. But one thing that I can share that I'll that I'll uh, share a little bit more information. As you know, the 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 president and the first lady and their family were not here this weekend, as you all reported on this, and as you also know that they left on Friday and returned just yesterday. Just uh, clarify for us where exactly inside the West Wing the substance was discovered. I'm not going to get into uh, sp specifics. All I can say is when people visit the West Wing, uh, there is uh, an air. There is the area of the West Wing where uh, it is highly uh, traveled, uh, and that is what happens. People come through this particular area. It's highly traveled. I'm just not going to get into specifics. I'm not going to get into. Uh, uh, not going to get ahead of the Secret Service, and so I'll let them speak to that. There are a couple of primary entrances into the West Wing. There's the one with which we're all familiar, right outside uh, the driveway where the Marine stands when the President's in, in the West Wing, and there's another entrance uh, off West Executive Avenue. Can you explain which, which entrance we're talking I'm about? I'm going to let the Secret Service speak to that. Can you explain why you, you can't explain it? I mean, you, you described it as a heavily traveled area. That's what the secret, I'm just saying what the Secret Service uh, said. We got this from the Secret Service, so I'm sharing a little bit more with you uh, from here. But again, it's under their purview. It's under investigation. They will, they will have more specifics down the road uh, as they are uh, looking into this. We are confident that they will get to the bottom of this, and so I'm just going to leave it to them. The substance was discovered late on Sunday. What's the latest staff-led tours that happen in the West Wing on a Sunday? You know, I don't have the specific on how late the t the staff tours, uh, staff-led tours go, uh, but I can tell you that there was one on Friday, there was one on Saturday, there was on one on Sunday. The times that there are not any West Wing tours is when there is a federal holiday, like yesterday, or a big a White House, a large White House event. I just don't have the specifics. Let's let's let the Secret Service get to the bottom of this. They'll have more, hopefully, more information, and uh, we have confidence that they uh, will be able to uh, figure this all out, so I'm going to give them the space to do that. I think we all know who left this at the White House. So Mike, where do things stand now? This is so unusual. You and I have covered the White House for years. I can't even fathom anything like this having been found before in the West Wing, and I go back to the 70s at the White House. So this is pretty, pretty wild. You know, I feel like I learned a lot about crack, and I know that sounds weird. I learned how to get, I really think I could get it now, thanks to your book. <laughs>